Good morning everyone, hope you've all had a great Christmas. Welcome to a new video on the channel. It is of course Boxing Day, Tuesday the 26th of December 2023 and today we are off back to the International Stadium. It is Gateshead versus York City in the National League. So here I'm in Gateshead and uh, judging by that travel montage you'd think we lived in quite a nice sunny country but uh, the temperatures uh, maybe suggest otherwise but uh, going into this uh, Boxing Day fixture this afternoon uh, York are currently in 19th place in the National League table and uh, you'd have to say are one of those that are, that are one of the most uh, underperforming teams in the league so far this season. I think there's a lot of excitement around the club when uh, Matt Ooglet, uh took the reins and uh, they started to recruit what on paper are uh, pretty decent players but it uh, just uh, maybe hasn't quite worked out for them the way they would have hoped so far but I do think it maybe is a bit of a long term thing, uh, that is what he said uh, when he went on the, the telly uh, against uh, when I played Wigan in the FA Cup the other week um, so uh, yes, yeah, they're going to be an interesting one they're, they're, as I've said a couple of times, they're always one of those clubs that I just cannot seem to get my head around. Like one minute you'll watch them and they're absolute rubbish, the next, then the next day they show a bit of something. Um, but as for us, we are, we are now in uh, fifth place in the National League table following uh, Saturday's 2-1 uh, win away at Oldham Athletic. But uh, despite the positions in the tables, I'm really not confident this afternoon, I've got to say. Um, just... As I maybe touched upon on Saturday, just like our home form isn't that impressive, it has to be said. Uh, it's um, like some of the performances at home so far this season have maybe been a little bit shoddy, uh, especially compared with what we've like maybe shown away from home. So uh, it's maybe a little bit about uh, balancing that out for us, but um, yeah, it's just I think it's just little things as well, like. Uh, like uh, like when when we play away, like you always get the feeling in those games that something is going to happen at some point. Whereas uh, at home, you maybe don't feel that way. I mean, even on Saturday when the the first half performance wasn't particularly great, and then obviously we uh, equalised early on the second half, and from there you really did feel as though like we would go on and win the game. But um, whenever we play at home, like you just always feel that something's maybe going to happen for the worst. Um, but uh, you know what? There's still quite like half a season or so left to to turn that around so uh and then that's the thing like if we can sort our home form out then uh, we like genuinely do have a chance of being in the playoffs and uh, as it is at the minute we're fifth which would mean being at home in the eliminator um so it's maybe important in that respect as well if we're intending on staying in you know fifth fourth maybe even breaking into that top three um because we would be at home in a playoff so uh yeah uh, yeah Hopefully you can at least understand why I've got one or two concerns about the home form. But as I say, um, there is uh, time to turn it around and today will be a good place to start that. So let's on and down to the International Stadium and find out how it all unfolds. <laughs> So the team's warming up, a York getting ready in this half as the away teams always do. Uh, they're going to be in a dark blue third shirt this afternoon. Of course, the usual colours would be red, which uh, maybe raises the question why they're even bothering because uh, 
there's not really any, any need to because it's not a colour clash or anything but uh, I've done what I've done uh, anyway gates are getting ready over here and of course we're going to be in our uh, usual white and black home kit anyway I'll see you when the players are coming out of the tunnel and ready to start the match So totally forgot to do this at half time, but it was of course Gates and New York City won. Uh, yeah, just not a good first half display from us at all. Um, just far too like lethargic on the ball. Just not enough tempo for me, I'd say. It. Um, and I think for York's first goal as well, uh, it was just um how he was just just I was totally goes through and uh, just stick the ball into the back of net. It was just incredibly. Frustrating, I've got to say, because um, like I just don't think uh, having uh, like Wern at left wing back really works in my honest opinion, because I just think he's more of a uh, attack minded player. So uh, that goal was avoidable. I mean, yeah, you could have said a uh, mayor should have should have done better. It was at his near post or what have you, but uh, ultimately, uh, no, we shot ourselves in the foot with that one, and just haven't really offered nothing. Didn't really offer anything like before or after it but uh, now let's find out the story of the second half
four minutes of added time. Go on, Marcus! Full-time gates had one York City one. It was a Christmas robbery that even the Wet Bandits would have been proud of. Uh, again, at home, a really, really uh, abject display, I've got to say. Um, I think uh, York in the second half had uh, maybe uh, sat a little bit deeper and maybe tried to hit us on the break every uh, so often. Uh, I mean, I had uh, another one from Fallowfield ruled out, and yet again he was... Uh, not being tracked down uh, our left-hand side, but uh, obviously, luckily, that time we got away with it. But uh, eventually, I think uh, maybe bringing Luke Hannon on uh, was the right call. I mean, I'm not sure if he was 100% fit, because uh, obviously he went off against uh, Oldham the other day. But uh, we seemed to uh, come to life a little bit more after that and uh, I think if anyone on that pitch for us deserved to score a goal today and it was definitely Kyron Lofthouse for it was absolutely outstanding today to tell you the truth and uh, if I was Rob Elliott uh, uh, any of the like directors whoever I would be put, going life and limb to try and get uh, Kyron Lofthouse's loan extended to the end of the season because uh, yeah they, uh, once again he was uh, Absolutely brilliant, and we're all seeing uh, watching Karen Lofthouse uh, put, putting on a show, and uh, yeah, he's definitely doing that at, at the minute. He's uh, probably being our, I'd say, most consistent player in recent weeks. Uh, I think uh, maybe another positive I could maybe take out of that was uh, when obviously uh, Dippo Akinyemi came on for York. Uh, Kenton Richardson did deal with him quite well. I mean, granted, uh, Akinyemi was. Maybe a little bit isolated when he came on, uh, because as I said, York were 
sitting a little bit deep, but still, uh, obviously, we still had a job to do at the back in terms of dealing with him. His goal scoring record does speak for itself, and uh, I think we did that relatively well. But uh, yeah, I think overall it does feel a bit more like uh, two points dropped, uh, despite the fact that uh, we did uh, it did take us uh, quite a while to break them down, but. Um, yeah, I mean, you can maybe say, you know, at least we didn't lose or whatever. And it is uh, four points from the last two games, which uh, at, obviously in this league, uh, given how close it is, is never really too bad return. And we are still uh, in the playoffs and in the playoffs and what have you. So uh, it's not all bad, but uh, again, uh, it's just like quite a few concerns regarding home form and what have you um, and I think uh, I, I think given our away form given how good our away form is I think uh, we should be all right in you know, finishing in the top half uh, I, I think it's just uh, it, I, I think um, I, I think the difference between us getting in the playoffs and not getting in the playoffs is whether we can improve the home form or not and uh, I think, think another thing I would like to maybe touch upon is uh, I I massively fear that uh, the next game, which incidentally is York away, uh, give, that's given that's how to do the fixtures over Christmas. I fear that that could be Stephen Wern's last game, but uh, regardless, uh, can we please stop playing him at left wing back? Because uh, it's just, we've, we've tried it numerous times, and I don't think it's ever worked once. Um, like we need him up there, like we need him to uh, yeah, be in that final third, because uh, he's, he's not a defensive minded player, and uh, he's not really one for. I'd say tracking back. I mean, I'm not necessarily blaming him for how the first goal came about, but given uh, how open we were on the left hand side for uh, Fallowfield to ghost in, uh, I, I think it's um, yes yeah, something we've got to look at. Whereas obviously Luke Cannon has played that position all season. I mean, granted, we couldn't maybe couldn't play him for a full ninety today, but uh, maybe someone like uh, I don't know Mamadou Job or even like Lofthouse or or uh, or, or whoever uh, could have maybe filled in that left wing back and maybe would have worked better but then again I'm just uh, the whinging fan with a monotone voice um, I'm not the manager or anything so uh, it is what it is and uh, we've just ultimately got to take on a chin now and move on but uh, I, that, that York's team are far too good to go down there's no cutting else chance they're getting relegated uh, I think that's five unbeaten for them now so the, again uh, going to their place on New Year's Day. It's it's not going to be an easy task, but um, hopefully, uh, maybe now that we've had a, a chance to like play against them and we'll maybe know a little bit more about them, they also know a little bit more about us as well. Um, I think um, it, it could be a, a completely different game on New Year's Day. I think it'll be close again, um, but uh, we'll just see how it goes. But that is that for this video, and I'll be back on friday night with what could potentially be an absolute cracker from league two it is bradford city versus stockport county so i've got to say really looking forward to that one uh, absolutely love uh, valley parade it's personally one of my uh, favorite grounds in the football league so until then take care cheers for watching see you later